there you go so hey guys um i just want to say welcome back to my channel i look like shit today i'm wearing glasses my hair is everywhere um i have no makeup on i actually just woke up and i got my tripod as you can see i'm using two hands today so in honor of that i wanted to go in real quick and review this palette for you guys it's the sephora contour palette it's the powder contour palette and it comes with six shades um i believe this is the banana shade specifically because it has that yellow term sorry my pop my palette's kind of dirty but this is the palette um I, I actually have to say i love this palette for mostly everything like i use this color for example to as a base for my primer because i do have oily eyelids so because of that i like to powder my eyelids before i add any primer to it i just feel that it holds better and my eyes don't get oily throughout the day um I use this powder sometimes to set my highlight after well before I bake sometimes like I don't even bake at all because only reason I bake is because I actually have these lines under my eye and my makeup tends to like settle in there so when I look up when I look down when I make any like certain expression or anything you can actually see like the lines there and it kind of bothers me so that's the only reason I really bake there um, I use these three shades to contour depending on my mood like I can contour with this one right here and it'll give me a contour this one's a bit too dark so I only use it on occasions but I use this, this palette as well for my eyes I use open this back up again I use these three colors as my well actually these four colors as my transition colors I go in the order so I do have that gradient effect sometimes I just go in with these two colors and I have this color on my lid in, in the corner so like it looks lighter but this is my all-around palette I probably travel with this one and the funny thing is before I used to be so skeptical about using powder contours or anything powder because I thought it was too bright and too much but now I can honestly say I kind of like it better than the cream like I said in the video before I had the ABH cream contour palette and I didn't really like it that much it was just too stiff for me it didn't really blend out too well um, I just didn't like how it looked on me or how it worked for me after like years of obsessing over it so I went in with this one and I just purchased this purchased a Sephora concealer I believe it's the brighter day concealers and concealer and 11.5 butter pecan something like that um, and I just use that with combination with this to like highlight under my eye and contour um but this palette retails for $28 at Sephora and I can honestly tell you that it's worth it it's just everything like it's the best thing ever so if you're looking for something cheap and affordable go with this one like I know NYX has a contour powder a powdered contour palette which is drugstore obviously but it retails for $25 so like you want it does have a wider spectrum of colors I, I believe it has maybe eight in the whole palette I'm not really sure about that exactly but I know it's a big breaker it has more spectrum of colors and like I guess it's like what three dollars two dollars less than this one but this is the one I've used and it's the best ever like ever I use this like literally every single day when I do my makeup every single day and I've never even said that about a palette, especially a contour palette, because it's contouring and like wearing foundation and stuff like that. It's not something that I do on a daily basis. Recently, yes, because I do have labs and I only have my eyebrows done in labs. I'm not allowed to wear any makeup in labs. So when I do have my academic classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I feel the need to like, I guess, glam it up a bit. So this palette, without further ado, is a ride or die get this palette. 